Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the third rail system for the iPhone 4. What you're seeing on the left is the system. What I have here on the right is an additional universal smart battery, and I'll show you why I have that in a second. As far as pricing goes, the system, which is right here, includes the case and one battery, and that sells for $89.99, and then you can buy additional batteries for $59.99. So I wanna break everything out of the packaging so I can show you kind of like what each piece is is with the extra battery that I have here, you can see you get a uh, USB charger, it's micro USB, as well as an adapter to charge it as well, um, and then the battery. For right now, I'm just gonna take the battery out. I wanna show you why that's important, and I'll show you that in a second. And then in the system, you also get the same components, same charging components are located in this box down there. We're not gonna open all that up, but you get the case and a battery as well. So you're probably thinking, well, battery, why do you have two batteries and why is it why is it outside of the case and all that? And that's what I'm gonna show you and that's what makes this product so unique. It's quickly become one of my favorite, if not my favorite, battery case for the iPhone 4. Let's face it, the battery style cases like, we'll, we'll call them by name, like the Mophie Juice Pack Air and uh, some of the other ones are great. They work really well. The problem is you're carrying around a big bulky case for the off chance that you'll need the battery that's enclosed inside. When you're not charging your phone off the battery that's in those cases, you're carrying around a bulky case really for nothing other than protection. What's really cool about the third rail system is it basically offers a user replaceable battery. So we know the iPhone 4, you can't replace a battery. This is the next best thing. So as far as the system goes, you get the case and one battery. And this is the case, kind of resembles a two-piece snap-on back cover. Of course, it has the port here to attach the 30-pin connector onto. And then it's got the micro USB charging port down at the bottom, as well as an on-off switch. So let's first get my phone in here. I want to point out that I do have a skin on the front, back, and sides of my iPhone 4, and it still fits just fine in the case. So you slide your phone into the bottom section like so, then you take the top piece and you kind of click it into place, kind of like you would a slider style case or a snap-on back cover or anything like that. Once you get it in, it kind of all locks together. It's nice and tight. The top piece doesn't slide around, doesn't move until you're ready to take it off. So. We're going out, we're out and about. We don't need extra power because our battery in the iPhone is fully charged. We're gonna keep this in our gear bag or in our pocket and we're gonna have our phone like this. Nice and slim, obviously no added bulk. It's really nothing more than a snap-on back cover. As far as all the ports go, you will have to uh, take your phone out if you wanna access the 30 pin connector, but you can charge it via the micro USB cable and the pass-through port that's right there. Of course, it has an on-off switch, but that'll come into play later when I show you the battery. It has one large cutout along the side for accessing the volume buttons and the vibrate switch and that means that this works with both versions of the iPhone 4. On the top it has individual cutouts for the headset jack, the secondary mic, and the sleep awake. Nice and deep, there's no problems accessing those. And then on the back it has a large pill-shaped cutout for the camera and the flash. Of course since it's lined with black there's no issues with flashback. So you can see what looks to be like some sort of connection for a battery on the back. That's because these batteries fit onto the back of the case. So you can see it has these four little notches that correspond to the four little notches on the backs of the battery. When you're ready to insert the battery on, you simply line it up, get it into the little cutouts, and then pop it down so it locks into place. Now you've got a battery on the back of your phone that you can use to recharge uh, your phone with. Um, before I put it on there, let me just point out that it does have couple ports here, one for charging and then one for charging other devices. So when you wanna recharge these batteries, you can plug the cable in and recharge them. When you want to charge another device, you can do so with this battery. So let's say you've got the iPhone 4 and your friend has a Blackberry, you could plug in the micro USB cable for your friend's device and then use this battery to not only charge your iPhone but his device as well. It also has a little button there that you can press to uh, see how much power you have remaining. The little lights will illuminate. I don't have any, think, I don't think I have any juice in this one. Uh, let's see if I have any juice in the other one. Um, yeah, this one I have some juice in. You can see there's three little lights lighting up and that tells you three out of five. So you know how much power you have remaining. So when you're ready to use it again, you simply slide it on 
And then you've got the little on off switch on the bottom, like some of the batteries do, that you put into the um, on position, and then it starts charging your iPhone 4. Now what's cool is you can charge other devices while the battery is recharging your iPhone. So let's say you wanna like charge two devices at the same time, one iPhone and one other device that uses micro USB. You can pop this on, start charging, then plug a cable in here, plug into another device and choose uh, to charge two devices at the same time. What's even cooler is, again, you can hot swap these batteries. So let's say I, you know, I showed you that the one was already dead. So let's say this one was dead. Well, I've used it all up. I wanna put another one on. I can take this one off, put this one right on, and now I've got another full battery that I can use. Even cooler, you can double these things up and do more than one at a time on the back here and uh, you know, not have to worry about swapping them out. So now I've got two batteries on here and uh, it makes it obviously a little bit on the thick side, but you know, you can put a couple on here and have like a mega battery for your iPhone 4 to get all of the power you need. Each one of these batteries has 12, uh, 1250 milliamps, the, so 1,250 milliamps. It's a little bit less than the battery inside the iPhone 4. I found that I'm getting about 70 to 75% recharge when I uh, am starting from a dead state to the um, iPhone 4. Uh, it gives me about 70, 70 to 75%. So the third rail system, like I said, it's become my favorite of the uh, external battery cases for the iPhone 4 because of the, you know, just the slimness that it offers when you're not using it. And then the versatility to be able to, you know, add multiple batteries. I've used the Mophie before when I'm out, especially like at CES. And I've actually gone through in a day, the battery in my iPhone and the Mophie, and then had to kind of like look for another one. Where with this, if you had like three or four of these, you could just keep swapping these out until, you know, you, your heart was content and virtually have an ongoing battery an ongoing supply for your iPhone 4. Now, from what I understand, I know it's kind of impossible to say this for now, the goal is to make these batteries compatible with all future versions of the iPhone 4. So whatever case they release for the next version, you won't have to buy new batteries. I do hope that's the case. I would love to you know, be able just to keep using these two batteries and simply you know, get a new case for the iPhone 5 or 4S or whatever it's gonna be. So again, the third rail system, which gives you the case and the battery, it's on sale now for $89. $99. You can also buy individual batteries for $59.99. Check the link in the video description where you can learn more about everything I showed you here today. Should you have any questions, you know you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day. Yeah.